G'day comrade and welcome back to the Republic with me, G'day. As you can see, a darkness has settled over the Republic. A storm is approaching, well, actually winter's approaching. Winter's approaching, which is a bit of a problem because we need to get the farms up and running. We went and spent much time last episode planning out our farm, planning out our silo, planning out everything, but the small problem is it's not built, which means we need to get this done during winter, which means we need to put a bit of a rush job on it. So the construction crews have an awful lot to do, and it also means that I need to plan the next project. I need to keep the construction crews busy, because as soon as they finish this, they're going to need something else that they need to work on. So we need to get to planning that. But before I get to that, I need to ask that very important question with, well, light rising upon the Republic, and that is, well, can I borrow a light? I'd just like to borrow a light, like to borrow a light like in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, well, that's okay. I have 101 fields that may need to be, um, well, tended by hand, and we can find you a position should you need one. Uh, at the same time, I need to remind you that those that are most loyal to the Republic, those that wish to prove their loyalty to the Republic and get early access to the videos, can always consider becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon member and get access to, well, the Republic videos and any other videos a little bit early. Early access has its benefits, especially if you're loyal to the Republic. So, uh, with that done, let's talk about our plans for today. Our plans for today is, well, we still need to cut back on our money spending because even after I get the farm built, I'm going to have to spend another half a million rubles, I guess, on buying machinery. So we have an awful lot to do and I need to save every single ruble where I can. So, farms, very quickly, uh, we are waiting for, well, the actual large farm to be built, which has three excavators on site. Sure, it still needs 117 tons of concrete, 90 tons of gravel, and 72 tons of earth of asphalt before we just complete the groundworks. We are also putting in the rest of the structures required to make fertilizer. We do have some of the roads are already in, and actually I want to add a road for you, uh, so we can get you done as well. Uh, and I have between episodes put in a whole lot more, uh, whole lot more fields because, well, we could do with some extra fields, an awful lot of extra fields, and fields are cheap, okay? Realistically, all this is costing me is the gravel roads, and they're cheap too, so we're probably going to double out the size of the farm. We're probably going to keep expanding the farm and the farmland until we run out of machinery, as this particular large farm has up to 30 vehicles. That's probably going to be a little while. One thing I do need to do to plan ahead is, uh, when we buy all our vehicles, of course, they're going to come without fuel. So what I want to do is I want to put in a tiny little gas station right here. I want to give you a dirt path from there to there. And we want to get that gas station filled up. So can I get the fuel rats to come over here and pop that up, please? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, that way, when we buy our excavators, um, our excavators, our tractors, and probably some combines as well, even if the farm itself doesn't have fuel delivered, well, at least they have fuel right outside. So once the tractors drive here, they don't have to drive all the way over the construction area because that's the next closest fuel station, which is not close, to be honest. So, yeah, I want to have nice local fuel for them, at least as an interim. Okay, so that's the first thing I need to do. Uh, second thing we need to do is we need to go look at like and stuff, just make sure everything's fine over here. Uh, in our overlays, I've been using these overlays up until now. Now, there is another set of overlays, which is the city planning overlays, which lets you, you know, do a quick look see. Green is good. Uh, more green is better. Uh, what is your issue? Oh. Go home. Go home. Go home. Control H. Also Control H. Okay. I'm upgrading this to Asheville Path. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so none of the secret police could get back to being secretive. Instead, they were driving around in circles out the front. After storing monitoring equipment inside this set of houses. All right, so uh, we can use these overlays very, very quickly. Green is good, more green is better. So uh, food-wise, we've got plenty of food access, meat access, clothing access, electronics access, uh, alcohol access, none, which is sort of how I expect, as I'm not actually letting anybody have some booze. Uh, culture access is fine. Sports access seems to be fine. You don't have access to sports. Hence why we're upgrading this road so you can reach the dynamo. You did previously have access to this whilst it was sunny, but if I access, you know, upgrade that road, then in theory you have access during here when it's less sunny. Uh, church access is none because here in the Republic, we don't believe in religion, we believe in the Republic. 
Uh, hospital access is also fine. Uh, access to education it only lights up this area because only this area has high education. The citizens' access to education doesn't really cover your schooling or your kindergartens, which is a little bit weird. Hence, I tend to use the over other overlay. Electricity looks fine. Heating looks fine. Water looks fine. Sewage looks fine. Waste, I actually found this uh, this overview to be much more helpful because you can very quickly see like these guys don't have access to trash. The reason they don't have access to tra trash currently is, well, I'm upgrading uh, the path. Actually, that shouldn't affect you. What are you doing trash? You're doing trash here. Oh, I'm accessing this path, upgrading this path, so you guys can't get down to this trash bin. So currently, these guys don't have access to trash, and there's our winter. So it, it, it's a thing. Now, the biggest problem with the trash overlay, must a number of the other overlays, is it doesn't give you these sorts of numbers. It does give you a nice, pretty green overlay, and I can see I have some buildings that are white that I shouldn't be white. Oh, because that's also being upgraded. Uh, I'm putting in a gravel word here. Yep, yeah, okay. So I can see some buildings are white, and that means either they don't have access to trash or they don't produce trash. Like, you don't have access to trash currently because your road's being upgraded, therefore you have no access to trash. Can we up the game speed, please? Uh, the, the warehouse doesn't make trash, so it doesn't need access to trash. Um, I do have a small gap in here, and that is because, well, that road's going in, and we have this gap here because, well, these paths are being upgraded, so they can't access their normal trash bin. But I do have this one here. The small water treatment plant doesn't actually have any access to trash. Never has. And I haven't done anything about it. I'm not planning on doing anything about it yet. I do need to in the future, but right now it's fine. Now, in our other overlays, we do have a lot more features. Um, like we can look at voltage, which, oh, it all looks good to me. Uh, wattage, everything's green, so I'm going to go with good. Uh, interior temperature, red is actually good. Green is not so. So everything's fine. Uh, heat, what it heat water tank which is just an odd way of saying things but okay uh we can see that temperature is a little bit low over here and if i click on you and i do this we can see that you have multiple connections the catch is there is a heat loss over distance so we're losing about 10 degrees in this distance um and that's just it, it's a loss okay there's losses with um, transferring heat all the time so that's just completely normal uh water pressure uh red is actually good and yellow is perfectly fine green is less so white's even worse because you know that means they're just not fed water which you know not really an issue so far water flow is actually where i want to stop because in here i have this doing about 70 to 80 cubic meters per minute which is fine except for one catch and that means your oh, well that is your maximum processing per day is 120 cubic meters which is a bit of a problem mm. you just don't use water okay you're just not using water at all so you can please don't use water you don't use water because you're closed all right back to this problem um this is regularly getting up in the 90 percent now i do have this water tank here as a buffer but I don't really want to stress out this system any further. Now, the pipes can handle more, but I just don't have any more clean water being made. And that is because, well, when we first started off the city, I was trying to cut costs. And to do that, I put in a small water treatment plant. I could have put in a large one, a big one, um, but it's more expensive, it's more work days, it's all those things I didn't really have at the start of the game that I now have now. So what I want to do is I want to go back and I want to fix this problem. Rather than processing 120 cubic meters worth of water, I could put the big one in and do 300 cubic meters worth of water, which is obviously what we're going to do. Because, well, it's twice the amount of workers with like two and a half times the amount of output. So that's a no brainer. So we want to put in a, a big water treatment plant. And I'm thinking, well, right here, because it has access to everything it needs, being sewage and power. And I'm hoping I can put you right about here. Yeah, before I get too much further, I need to make sure you have a path. So we're going to grab a path. I'm going to bring it to here and then around the side of this building. And then I'm going to bring it... Actually, I'm going to bring it that way before I tag... Nope. Okay, can I cancel footpath? Bring that back. Bring that even further back. Eh? Yeah. Okay. And then bring that in there. Okay, can I get a footpath out of the footpath? 
Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, because you're going to need a road, obviously. I'm going to... No. There. I'm going to put a road in there. Okay. So I need to get uh, you out of the way and you approved. Cool. And can we get construction crew number seven over here? We are doing one more house because I wouldn't mind one more house. So, yeah. Um, I, I just want to make sure we have room for growth. More room for growth, you know. We probably have other room for growth, but I also need more workers outright. So we're going to keep building houses. It is low priority. They'll get to it once they get to it. It's also set to zero workers. So we're not going to use any of the local labor just standing around twiddling their thumbs. It, it, it needs fresh workers. All right. So with a water treatment plant, it's obviously going to need trucks for chemicals and all those sorts of things. But also I'm going to put in another tank because, well, it's good practice. It's good practice to have a buffer tank. I'm going to throw you there. And then can I get a dirt path to plug... It's winter. It's hard to see. But there's a building in the way. Cancel. Try again. Add a bit further. And then there. Cool. Uh, now, uh, you have, if we have a look underground, we have four in, three out. I want to put in a very, very large pump. A uh, big pumping station. And we're going to be putting you right there and hope it come, doesn't come back to haunt me. And we're going to get some large pipes. And I'm going to go... Ooh, nope. One. Two into here. I then want to go out of here. F4 off. Oh, no. Please no. That's, 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 that's horrible. Okay, can I approve that so far? Uh, can I... Like, it's technically valid, but... Uh, can we remove you? Can I copy you again? And we'll just slide you a little bit further back. Give me a little bit more room. Then grab a pipe and go from there to there. Much better. Okay. I want to plug uh, that into there. I, I also want to take an output and plug it into this one. Because this is plugged into everything currently. And I sort of prefer it if it didn't stop working. Uh, so we're going to run our pipe. Shallower? No. Six meters? Uh, look, six meters is fine. To there, and then into there. Cool. Uh, we're going to prove that. We're going to make sure that's one construction job. It is. So this will give me a buffer that we can do things with in the future. And this will also tank the existing water, well, the new water treatment plant, and plug it into the old system which is going to be very, very important. On top of that, I need to get water in here. Now, you're going to do a maximum of 300 cubic meters per day. And what I'd really like is a small water pump. Small water pumps do 70 cubic meters worth of water and use the max wattage for a circuit breaker being 84 kilowatts. Or I can go for the big water well. Now, the big water well uh, uses 148 kilowatts. It's written down there at the bottom, but also needs people, also creates trash also probably needs access doesn't need access to sewage well that's nice they're just gonna flush it downstream with everything else all right um so i could use the bigger ones but then i need to have people and people are just annoying also it turns out you need road access which makes you twice annoying so instead i'm gonna go with the smalls now i could try and squeeze these in here i do need to pump and stuff but um my other option is putting on a hill uh, and as I have a wonderful hill here that's doing a whole lot of nothing, it does have power access running up the hill. We're going to be putting it uh, on the hill. Uh, the catch is if... Well, uh, can I go back into you and go into small water well? Uh, hold left mouse button to flatten terrain. It says, I need a free excavator. I have a free excavator. So we're going to very quickly buy me an excavator. Uh, do, 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 excavator. Now, up until now, we've been buying these guys. These are great because you know, maximum speed, very, very slow. Don't get me wrong. But they do have a speed per level of 33. So they're reasonably good once they get on site. But then we have, well, this one and this one, which both have a speed of 18, but uh, have a lower speed on site. We're going to actually buy one of these guys because I have a future plan for him. So I don't mind if he's a little bit shit. Actually, in fact, we're probably going to buy two of them. Yeah, let's grab two. Can I highlight a new and zoom right the way in? You look like garbage. 
you look like you were found on a rubbish dump. Cool, perfect. Yep. All right. So we're gonna need a couple of excavators and they're gonna have to go get fuel and all the other things and then we can use them. So whilst we do, whilst we went on for that, we're gonna have a look through the city services. Uh, so hospital, <coughs> fine. Clinic, fine. Police, fine. Uh, courthouse, fine. Secret police is fine as far as we know. Prison is a bit of a problem. Uh, first off, uh, we have... Forty-five prisoners. Does that mean they all worked yesterday? Was unemployed yesterday. We have unemployed prisoners. They could be working harder. Prisoners not working. Twenty-seven. All right. So we need to solve that problem. We also need to cut down on the amount of prisoners. Now, uh, we're going to pick you for example. So you did something. Doesn't matter what you did. Uh, but you have a criminality of zero percent. You're only halfway through your prison sentence, and that is because well. I'm making sure that criminality is going down by 1.8 per cycle. Cycle. We're going to go with cycle. Uh, now, that means I'm doing a wonderful job at making sure that, well, they are no longer or less of a criminal. Yes. Less of a criminal. But um, that's not the only example. Like, a lot of these guys, well, you just got here and started off 24%. You might need to go through the prison sentence a couple of times. Uh, but you... You're point two years into a 3.3 year service, uh, uh, years of service, and um, you're at criminality of zero. So what I need to do is I need to probably cut back on, you know, our sentences just a little bit, just to free up some room in the prisons. So we're just going to turn these down slightly. It's, it's a trial and error, okay? You might need to turn it back up, you might need to turn it back down, but, you know, a bit of trial and error. So we're going to cut down on that slightly. At the same time, I'm going to go buy me a bus. Well, bus. I want another Lux bus bus from here. Uh, STDK Lux. The Lux. It goes faster, has less people. Okay. Can I also get a prison bus? Uh, these are the ones we're using, so we're going to grab two of those. And we can... Find your bus route. Uh, open that up. And we're going to find uh, prison bus number one and prison bus number two and just add them to the route. And we're going to say go on your route and also go on your route. Great. Well, that'll solve both those. They're going to need fuel, blah, 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 blah. But then they'll go get on their route. They just do their route. And, you know, they'll make sure the prisoners work hard. All right, uh, back to flattening things again. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to have a bit of room up here to put in, actually, can I go back to plumbing? Uh, no, we'll, we'll do the road first. Okay, what I want to do is I need to get a road up here so we can actually build things. Now, if I drag the road up the hill, it's just going to say, no, bad luck, uh, you can't drag the hill up the road, uh, the, the hill up the road. You can't drag the road up the hill, it's too steep. But if I slide this sideways, let's turn on that overlay so we can sort of see things a little bit better. Uh, I can have hold right mouse button to flat an area. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And it means the excavator is going to get to work. They're just going to level things out a little bit. Bring it back down to a much more natural level. A, a grade. A grade that vehicles can actually drive up and down safely. And eventually it'll go green. Okay, it's now green, which means I can build. But I sort of want to have a little bit of a wider area that's flattened. So I can, whilst still holding the right mouse button, just drag it till it goes yellow again, and then cut into the mountain a second time. And I can keep doing that, moving the mouse very slowly to make sure we can have a wider area. Yeah, just widen out. Give, give ourselves a bit more of a ramp up this mountain. Rather than just a nice narrow path, we can, you know, stretch it out a little bit. Now, doing this is a bit of a pain in the butt. Trying to get things lined up and keep them lined up. Uh, in fact, I think I've taken a chunk out of the mountain and I now need to lower everything a whole lot more. But eventually, this should go green for me. Okay. Please put that back. Uh, okay, so we're going to put that in there. 
Yeah, uh, with that there, we're then going to get our pump, 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 well, 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 well. And I want the wells to obviously have access to power because that's one of their requirements. And you guys do 70 cubic meters. The, the, the treatment station does 300 cubic meters. So we want to go with, oh, sorry, we can actually, yeah, we're going to do the first one here. Okay, there, uh, there. As you can see, these have a decently high water quality of like 92, 93, 94%. Because the further they are away from people and pollution, the better the water quality. Okay, uh, with that done, I do need another pump. And we're going to be dumping a pump. Uh, can get you flipped. And we're going to put a pump there over, under under through through that plumbing line uh actually that's probably gonna be in the way uh can i demolish that can i put it here mm, no i i, I want to put it on the line it should be easy to have it on the line than not on the line all right and then i want to bring a pipe out of you uh pipe out of you uh, okay, you say cannot build due to infrastructure. So I don't need you to be 16 meters deep. One meter deep there is fine. And then plug that in there. And then same as you. Can you actually plug in? Hmm. Can I just prove those real quick? And then pause the game. Uh, you are 280 work days. You're 281. You're 291. Yeah, I don't know why it gave me an option in depth. But whatever. Uh, and then you... I want to plug in there. But I don't want you 13 meters deep. Because the deeper you are, the more expensive you are to run. I want you 3 meters deep. It's fine. I, I, as long as it's greater than zero, uh, that means it's underground. I am sold. And I'm just going to take all three of those, two of those. Uh, you have 70, 70, 142. Actually, you have 140. Uh, okay, what we might do is we... Okay, well, that worked. Okay, uh, we're going to have you plug into that one. You plug into that one. There's no other infrastructure in the way. Okay. Cancel. Try again. You know what? Just give me another one of those. Okay. Uh, flip. And rotate. What I'm actually going to do is going to plug two into one and one into the other. Uh, but two into one, two into the other. Because technically a single pipe does 150 cubic meters worth of water. Uh, so technically I only need two pipes from pumps into the, I need two pipes from the pumps into here. Uh, but, uh, workers and resources simulates gravity awfully well. So you can actually get in th increased through pipe throughput. If things are traveling downhill, you know, with gravity assistance. So... We're going to plug in you and then you. Okay. Uh, there to there to there. Yeah, we're going to have... You should do 70. You should do 70. So it should be 140. Yeah, there's no point doing the extra pipes. We just don't have the throughput. Uh, okay, can I cancel that pipe? And that pipe and that pipe. And what we'll do is we'll just plug you into there. Yeah, so it should be 70, 140, into here, 140 through to here, in a pipe that moves 127. That's the problem. Um, okay, back to... Plug you into there. Yeah, though if I need to add the extra pipes, we will. Okay, all right, so with that done, I want to get a footpath through to here, a footpath through to here. This is just needed for construction. Uh, you all have dirt road except for you. You now have all have dirt roads. Turn that off. Turn, turn that off. That, 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 that off. That off. That off. That off. That off. And that off. And have all them be built. And all of this be built. 
And you already have your gravel ro your road in. One thing I would like to do because you definitely have access to workers, but I wouldn't mind doing that part of gravel. Okay. Uh, you can have 10 workers on site. It's not the end of the world. And we're going to leave that to get done. Now, one thing I do want to do is, like I said, I want to plug this in here because this will support this tower and make sure that we should keep up with water flow overall. All right. Back to our overlays, uh, we did, okay, we didn't do sewage flow, but it all seems to be fine. The important thing is uh, we are dumping right here, uh, right beside the Rusky border, um, uh, 80 cubic meters worth of the finest quality uh, Soviet shit in the world, in the world. And we're dumping it beside the Rusky border because where else would you take it? Uh, all right, we have uh, construction. Obviously there is some construction being started down here now. We have three flats, and I still have room for a decent amount of people here. Do you have room in the school? You do have room in the school. Uh, we would like to invite in the highest quality uh, people from the NATO borders. Um, we might have sent over the secret police to go pick them up and bring them back. Don't question it. Uh, do not question why they're so cheap. It's fine, uh, but they're down here. All right, uh, trash we've been through, wear and tear. Wear and tear, we need to talk about very, very quickly. Every single building requires maintenance. Every single building. So, uh, if we look at residential, if I look at the brick flats, the ones we built originally, they have a building lifespan down the bottom left of 20 years. And, well, let's just click on you. You are obviously one of the first buildings. You're about six years old and you have a wear and tear of 28%. So when you get to about 50%, you need to have a reconstruction. It's like a facelift. We just do a quick tidy up. Well, we go patch some holes. We go fix some bricks. Nothing too major. We don't, don't get overboard. But it does mean that construction crews need to come do that at some stage, which is something we need to keep in mind. I also need to keep that in mind so that gets done as well. All right. And you already highlighted. Okay. You all highlighted. Everybody should be highlighted. Uh, we can't access that anymore. Because I upgraded that. That should be done shortly. Uh, high priority. And also, I'm trying to asphalt these roads. Can we get that part done as well? Uh, it means they got to drive around, but that's fine. All right. So that should give us more people living in like stock. That should give us extra labor, which is good because they have extra jobs for them. An awful lot of extra jobs for them. A uh, Juno workplace, 143. Perfect. Due to low education, I, we're, we're in the process of fixing that. You know, go go to go to school, go to kindergarten, learn something. All right, what it needs to do is uh, so lichen stock's going fine, and you're at 98% built. So we're just going to stay here for 53 work days until you're finished. But I need to go through my my costs, my costs, because we we hit January, we're in a new year, which means I can look at last year. I'm going to full years sort of calculations. And we can see I'm selling a lot of clothes. I'm selling a lot of clothes and making a lot of money. I'm also selling a lot of food and making a lot of money. Now selling booze, making some money there. Metal scrap, plastic waste uh, also make me money. Biological waste, uh, what am I? January, we've got to the end of Feb. Okay. Uh, biological waste does make me some money, but turning into fertilizer is going to save me money, increase productivity, all sorts of things. So we're going to do that instead. Uh, construction waste also makes me some money. Waste water was obviously something hadn't been built, some sort of sewage line. That's now been fixed, so it's not costing me money anymore. Mixed waste is costing me money. A little bit of money, not a lot of money, but it is costing me money. And hazardous waste, there's not a lot of it, but it's cost me a fortune. It's something we need to look at. We can probably remove that export in the future. Uh, imports... Steel. Can't do anything about that anytime soon. Crops. We're working on that right now. Like, this is working on crops right now. Uh, chemicals. Chemicals are something we need to look at. Because we're only using 138 tons in a year, which is like 0.3 tons per day. So it's something we might actually be able to do. We did recently research that. Uh, fuel. I can't do anything about that anytime soon. Prefab panels. We spent a lot when we were building the town. We haven't been doing much of the town, so it's it, the cost has gone down. But again, compared to some of the other things, it's not super expensive. Meat comes from crops, which we're trying to do something about. Electronics is miles away. Gravel, we've gone through a lot of gravel with a lot of roads. 
but honestly, it's not that expensive. Uh, asphalt, still the same story. Uh, power, I'd like to do something about power, but that's going to require some infrastructure, so we're going to leave that for the moment. Concrete sort of goes in the same category as asphalt. Coal, I haven't found coal yet. We haven't gone looking yet. Mechanical components is miles down the track. Bricks, boards, this is sort of the point where they're cheap. And in fact, with peaks like that, that would have been filling up storage. So I don't care. Water was a one-off. Electronic components, they use for power lines. Yeah, okay. So what I want to do is I want to look at some places we can save money, some places we can cost money. Also, I need to look at getting people over here to get this stuff uh, finished off. So start with the farms. I need to buy. No, actually start with the fuel rats. Uh, can I get you to fill this with fuel? Uh, 50%. Okay. I'm going to need vehicles. We're going to need sewing. Okay, I have two tractor choices. I have 15 kilometers per hour, 34 kilometers per hour. So slow, very slow. Uh, you have a sewing speed per level of 17. You have a level 24. 24, obviously much higher than 17. So we're going to go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 should be enough. Uh, we also need to make sure that the construction crew is going to build this and these roads and these roads because uh, I sort of need things done right now. Uh, okay, so we have tractors. They're going to be popping over. They'll be here shortly. All right. Once the tractors are here, uh, they will go out and they will go and deal with the farms. One thing I do need to do is I need to make sure that all the roads that are disconnected, I reconnect. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Can I do that one too, please? We're going to be quick about it. Uh, can I do that? Can I do that? Uh, dirt roads are perfectly fine for tractors because they go so unbelievably slow. It really doesn't matter. Uh, that's being built. That's being built. So that's all I can do for right now. As for the farm. Oh, crap. And that one. Uh, highest priority. You need two work days, please. Okay. Uh, as for the farm. The farm will auto-search fields. So it'll just add fields to the list, which should be fine as long as I remember to park it and plug in all the roads before, well, they get too far into the planning. Uh, the season starts on the 3rd of March. The 3rd of March is sort of when the tractors leave to go start actually dealing with the crops. You're also built. Okay. If you're built, can I get you workers? All right, we have here, here, you. We have this bus. This bus is on the line that goes from Lackerstock bus uh, platform to this bus stop and then goes and turns around. But he's leaving with 20 workers still on, on him. What I'd like him to do is after he goes to there, I want him to go to here and I want you to unload people. And then on your way back, I want you to go here again in case you still have people left and drop them off here and then continue on your way. So you should go from the bus platform out around all the way down here, drop people off, continue on your way down to here, drop people off. So we actually have somebody to work, you know, right here. Uh, and then from there, you should travel back to here, drop people off a second time. If there's anybody left over, there's nobody left over. He'll just pull in and pull out and then continue back up to here. But that's an awful long way out. Uh, you are using the RTO Lux, which only carries 40 passengers, but is fairly speedy at 85 kilometers per hour. And what I want to do is I want to add two more Luxes to the route uh, because, well, the route just doubled in size. Uh, it's very, very, very long now. So it's probably going to need a couple more buses. Only need... 25 workers down here, so not an awful lot. Uh, in fact, you just dropped off some, so I now have workers here. Don't have anything for them to do yet, but we have workers here. Uh, what I do want to do is, I do want to set up some, I want to make sure you're one way, because here, we need you to do some filtering. So I'm going to have every single container set to fertilizer, except I need to bring in biological waste. So we're going to have trucks come into this transfer station, uh, dump trucks, and they're going to drop off biological waste. It's going to get pushed into here because you don't have any internal storage. Your storage is here. So it's going to get pushed into here. After it gets pushed into here, you process biological waste and turn to fertilizer. So you're going to pull in 
the biological waste. And then you're going to get chemicals. Chemicals are going to have to bring in on via truck. We might do that in just a second. And then you're going to push out fertilizer. On top of that, you're going to have some sort of waste as well. Being, well, mixed waste. Uh, mixed waste. Mixed waste. Mixed waste. Mixed waste. I don't probably need that many. Uh, we're going to go with three and three. Yeah, okay. So you're going to push out mixed waste to here because you do have your own internal storage. You'll probably fill that up first. But realistically, you're going to push most of your uh, mixed waste to here. And then if I have somebody come here to pick up the mixed waste, he's going to pull the mixed waste from here, which will indirectly create space and pull it from there. So in theory, if I do this correctly, I set up everybody who has biological waste. So I need to go to technical services office. I need you to take your bio waste and bring it here. I also need to copy your settings to you as well. Uh, you should take all your bio waste to there from now on. And then I need somebody to pick up the mixed waste. So garbage truck. Can I move you to here? And then have you go to here? Load up mixed waste, wait for load, and then come to here, and you're gonna unload that, and that's gonna be your job forever. So you are just gonna be driving here to pick up the mixed waste that comes out of this building and take it to the border and drop it off. All right, next thing I need is chemicals. So we're gonna need a covered hole. Uh, total capacity, oh, we have a new one. Okay, we have a new one, which is much faster. So it carries the same amount, but a higher top speed. Also, it's cheaper. Uh, so in that case, you have a number of covered holes. Uh, can I grab you? You're the refrigerator truck. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. What I want to do is covered hole. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Also, I'm going to get a second refrigerator truck because just having one is definitely a risk. If that one needs to be repaired or breaks down or anything like that, we could have a small situation where we run out of meat. Uh, and then uh, you're doing clothes. Uh, you're doing electronics. Uh, you're now coming back to the office. You can go there instead. Uh, wait. Uh, you uh, don't have anything currently, so you can go there. Uh, you don't have anything currently, so you can go here. Uh, you are on your way back to the office, so you can go there. You don't carry anything currently, you can go here. Uh, and that's everybody. All right, uh, can I get covered hole? All right, I want the covered hole to go to the border. I want you to load up on chemicals, and then I want you to take your chemicals to here to start this process, and you're going to unload chemicals, wait to unload it, and that's gonna be your job for life. You're a little bit slower, you have a whole lot of highways to do, but that's perfectly fine, because, well, realistically, at the end of the day, uh, I just need you to go A to B, okay? All right, so that should get that problem sorted, and therefore, we should be able to get this to start processing. We don't have anything dropped off yet, but it's a matter of time. Okay, so that should solve that problem. That should get our chemicals. We don't have any combines yet to actually harvest the crops. And we should definitely look at that in the not too distant future. Oh, please put fast. 0.11 tons of gravel. We still need 35 tons. Uh, you need 170. You need 170. You need 107, 100, 119. Okay. And you, which we just started, needs five tons, which is probably a truck on his way. Okay. So, oh, and this needs to be built, as does this. Okay. You are the silo. You're super low priority. I do not need you until we harvest, start harvesting crops. You're the distribution office, which we're going to be using to collect the crops from the fields. We'll talk about that later, uh, which also sort of means I need you built before, you know before we start harvesting things, which is probably not gonna be straight away. Uh, so until these last couple of roads are done, there's nothing else we can do with the farms. But we 
do have people coming to here, which does have a fire station, which only has one fire truck. I'd like to get a second fire truck. And we're using this one. I can go with speed. So you have a fire truck speed per level of 23. Hey, Stones Melton. Uh, so you are very good when you get to sight, but you have a maximum speed of 62. You have a max speed of 80 with only a fire speed level of 19. Uh, you have a speed of 17 with 85 kilometers per hour. You have a speed of 90 with a speed with with a fire truck speed of four, which means there's only four firefighters. You have a speed of 80 with 20. 80 with 19. We're gonna get a W50 fire truck, which is gonna add another 20 employees to this building, so you can now use 43 people, but. We're also gonna have a faster fire truck. So we're gonna have a bigger fire truck that does a better job of uh, putting out fires, but also a faster one. And I think a faster one's gonna be fairly important because the chance of you having a fire right here is slim. The chance of you having a fire miles away is much higher. Uh, okay, so it's the end of winter and you only have a little bit of coal, which means I probably need another dumper. Bring it one of that, oh. So you move twice as fast, but carry half as much. Yeah, we're just gonna go with big and slow. Uh, can you get into the big and slow? You can, okay. You can get in from the big and slow lane. That's the words I'm looking for. All right, uh, can I find your truck? Is this guy, is this guy. Can you tell your friend about what you're doing every day or what he's down doing every day? Uh, there. Okay. Uh, you are gonna run on your route. Go. There you go. Alright, so you're gonna run on your route and you're just gonna drive back and forth forever. Alright. Uh, this is all being done. Yes. Uh, this is just about finished, actually. Uh, and we should be fine. Alright. So that gets that problem solved. That's problem solved. That's solved. That still needs to be built. And... Oh, that road's actually done. And it is 28th of Feb. We don't start planting crops till like 3rd of March, I want to say. Uh, there, to there, to there, to there. Ooh. And that still needs 14 tons. Oh, this is done as well. Uh, can I plug in? You're already plugged in, you're already plugged in, you're already plugged in. And you're done as well. All right, so if we click on the farm, you haven't auto detected this one yet. Or this one so it'll do those shortly and we're getting there bit by bit uh and march 2nd march 2nd we're out and about right and a big field all right uh one thing i do want to do is oh is that because of fertility Big field 21, which is a fertility of 27%. Do you have access to fertilizer? You do. So I'm willing to bet this guy's coming out. Because like I said, March 3rd is when cultivation actually starts. So we should see everybody's leaving right now. And meanwhile, this tractor is going to be farm 21, this one. And I'm going to set bet that this number goes up. So he's not actually sowing the field. He's just filling it full of fertilizer, which should get the fertility up to whatever number we've set in here, which defaults to 50%. Now I need to make sure I don't backlog on fertilizer. So we're going to leave it at 50% now, but we're probably going to crank it up higher, like much higher. Uh, anyway, you have fuel, you have everything, you should be good to go. This should be up and running. It's going to take us a little while to get all the fields uh, sowed. And it's going to take us even longer to, well, get them harvested and then all the food back and all that sort of stuff. So we can leave this for a little while and we can move on to other projects. Other projects are um, out here. What I'd like to do is I'd like to extend this road out. And we want to come out to... Straight line, 800 meters, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, 
And the hill's in the way. That seems about right. Okay. Uh, F4 for snapping. Can I put that road beside that road? And then can I put that road beside that road? Alright. Uh, so we get some nice straight roads. Alright. What I want to do is I want to press all the wrong buttons. What I want to do is I want to take my measuring tool and I want to measure from like this house. This is this is about as close as we're going to get to places. And I want to come about a thousand meters. A thousand meters is sort of like your safe zone for pollution. So I want to come out to about here and I want to plan something new. And that new thing is going to be chemicals. Because a chemical plant only requires 60 workers. And 60 workers should be able to give me 0 0.08 tons of chemicals per day which should fulfill our need for chemicals. So I want to put you, actually I'm going to put you here above the road. We're building below the road, but I sort of want to make sure I have a market for my thousand meters. Yeah, chemical plant requires oil. I don't have oil, uh, but the border has oil. So we have oil. Uh, also requires gravel. We technically have gravel, but the border also has gravel. So we should be fine on gravel. Wood. I don't have wood, but we could probably find wood because there's some trees around here, there, and everywhere. Uh, also requires water. Water's pretty okay. And also you need a water quality of 67%, which if I look at plumbing and a uh, small water well, 92%, we should be fine. Sure, the water quality is going to go down as the pollution goes up. And it turns out you're a bit of a stinky boy, but we can just put it further away. That should be fine. Uh, and that should give us chemicals. So making chemicals should be very, very easy. Should be. Should be. Uh, the thing is, I've got like 10 minutes to try and explain it. And also, well, pop it together. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a chemical plant. And I'm going to put a chemical plant. Here. I'm going to give myself plenty of space. Okay. Uh, chemicals are going to need imports and outports. Uh, the biggest thing that they're going to... No. Uh, okay, chemicals are going to need... Chemicals are going to need storages. Uh, they're going to need to have wood. Wood comes from... A open storage. Uh, there is a small version. You hold wood, you hold wood. 320 tons worth of wood. That's an awful lot, but... Uh, wood. Uh, I'm going to put you... I want that factory connection. I'm going to hope that right about there that works for me. Okay. If I have one of you and I have two factory connections, I really want you to have a friend. So we're going to put your friend right there. And then I'm going to hope to hell that I can convince that to plug in like that and that to plug in like that. Cool. If I can convince those two to plug together and I bring in wood here, it's going to filter into both those buildings. Okay. On top of that, they're going to need access to crops uh, and gravel. Now, gravel is going to have to be delivered by truck because uh, they have, they do have uh, a, 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 aggregate, 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 uh, a conveyor. And I could put you here. But if I put you here, I need to get a road in and out of this building. Mm, road, that one. I get a road in and out of this building, and I can... No, even though it says there's an arrow... Oh, that's just an arrow in. Uh, okay. I get a road out of this building. But if I use that road, it means I cannot use this factory connection. Because there's no way to cross the road over a factory connection. Not without a bridge or a tunnel for the road. So we're not going to bring in our gravel with a conveyor. We're talking, like, minuscule amounts. You need, per day, 0.72 tons of gravel and you have a 10 tons of worth of gravel storage same for wood like i could just have the wood just be dropped off and you're good for the next 10 days we just have a truck do it but i want to try and do as much automation as possible so we're not going to do gravel gravel's going to have to be done with the truck what i do want to do is i do want a storage warehouse and i want a storage warehouse here at the rear and i sort of want it behind and i want to have both those factory connections because you guys need somewhere to store your chemicals. Plus, probably more importantly, is... No, it has to be that one. Uh, plus, more importantly, uh, you have a train connection. Which means in the future, I get a choo-choo over here. And plug this in with a choo-choo. Uh, so you have a road connection, road connection, road connection. Plus, I need a bus stop. But that is our bare basics. 
Can I copy that whole thing? And I want to put it... Uh, where's my marker? About there. I want to put you... About... Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we'll see how bad this goes. So I need to have... Uh, you... I'm on. Really don't want to be straight. Plug in the main road. Okay, on top of that, uh, wood. I actually have the option of just getting wood. And that comes from wood cutting post, which is one of these things. And if I put you here and then put a factory connection. No. Yeah, works for me. Where are you? There. Uh, put that there. Uh, then I can just, well, get wood. And here we can see the wood quality is at 64%. So we can just have the people go chop the trees and load it in here. And the good thing is a wood cutting post only needs 10 workers on a good day. I'm pretty sure with the sheer, oh, and that produces, uh, how much? Six tons of wood per worker. So one worker every five days will probably fit our needs 100%. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to get a road uh, to there, to there, to there, to there. Uh, and then plug you in and plug you in. Uh, you will also need a road, which we're just going to bring down to here. And then I also need a bus stop. Bus stop's going to be very important because I need to get people out here. And we're going to go with bus stop. A basic, no frills, 200 people bus stop. Should be overkill. And I want to put you sort of here. And then I don't know if this works, but we're going to find out one way or another. If I plug the road through there, I think this is accessible, but I'm not sure. Uh, and that's going to be our plan for chemicals. Now, chemicals do need a whole lot more infrastructure. They're going to need power, obviously. They're going to need water. Uh, plumbing, we'll just grab water really quickly. A water well. We're going to put this towards the people. Uh, you'll need a pump. Okay, now we're going to go reverse. We're going to put in power. Uh, electrical substation. We're not really going to build this way, are we? Probably not with the bus stop there. What's your walking distance? 200 meters on the road. Uh, okay, can I remove that? Can I put you there? Can I, you? Can I put you further this way? Uh, too sharp of a turn. We cancel that and put. Where's great for me? Done. Okay. Uh, you walking distance. You can't reach that anymore, but that's probably okay. Ooh, actually, we'll even start with dirt roads. Uh, with a bit of a dirt road, speed me up. Uh, okay. Can you reach it now? No. Uh, how about... Now. Yep, you can reach that now. Alright. Uh, yeah, 200 meters is like max on dirt roads. Like, I can upgrade the roads and stuff. We can put it in the bus stop elsewhere, whatever. Uh, okay. Substation. Uh, I want electricity, power, substation. We need all that powered... So, like, here, here should cover us for power. Ish. Okay. And then water, we can throw in a small water well here. Uh, we'll do it there, because you do need access to road which we can run like that. I'm gonna to have to gravel all of this. And I also need to get sewage. Sewage we can do. Uh, I do need a water pump. Uh, small water pump. And that's just gonna go here. And then I will need a switch, which needs to go here. Here works. Uh, okay. F3 to go underground. You to go there. Hello? Oh. Here are my 
looking for the... You're over there. Uh... Eh. It's the water pipe. It, it's going to be the same no matter what. Okay. Uh, I need you to plug you into there, and I need to plug you into there. That's the only thing that really matters. Okay. Uh, apart from that, everything else is pretty much as normal. I need to add in sewerage. Uh, these do have their own sewerage output. So, uh, height number two, we're at eight meters, we're at nine meters. What's that? 8.6, 8.5 is here. Uh, can I turn on? Grid off. The console line's on. Oh, we just got the top of a hill. That's six meters, that's 10 meters. Okay. So if you're six meters going this way, uh, the easiest way to do sewage is going to be sewage switch. Uh, okay, what did I say this was? This is 8.9. So sewage switch at 8.3, 8.7. Yeah, can I get an 8.7? and then an 8.3. All right, uh, we're gonna go for a big pipe from there into probably that one, and then from there into that one, from there into that one. I still have three ports because I'm gonna need a sewage tank. Uh, you're at 8.75, nine meters is here. Can I dump my sewage tank? Spin you enough, uh, here. And then we're going to grab off that, plug that into the third one there. And then from here, we're going to go to Rusty. Uh, yeah, like that. Mm. Maybe it's time to dig a new hole. So that's the top of the hill. The hole would have to be over here. I wish to get right here. I'm going to prove that for now. We'll come back to that problem. Uh, all right. Uh, but... I have also pretty much run out of time. I still need to run clean water out here. I need to run power power out here. So we'll have to break off. Uh, good question, Jody. I think I have two breakouts here uh, for medium voltage and I have one breakout here for high voltage, which I need to use. Yeah, power's going to have to ha have to happen in the next episode. What we can do in the meantime is uh, make sure that and that and that are all joined and put in that to there, that to there, and we can do that. Oh. And that. And join that together. Cool. Uh, we can do that. Mm, maybe not that one cancel that one for now uh we can do that we can at least get this part graveled and give them some work to do uh meanwhile farms are all graveled up so i can find my little roads and go from there to there to there to there uh there to there uh there to there uh you and you and you and you're done not done done yeah. Uh, you and you and you and you're a little bit further back from the road, but it's fine. Uh, and you. Cool. And you have... Well, sewing some of them, growing some of them. Uh, you are set to 3,000 meters down. All right, so you're going to find the other farms. You're going to add them to the giant long list. Uh, we're going to get all those farms done, and I'm probably just going to stamp a row of farms across the back and probably a row of farms out here. But um, we'll cover that and a whole lot more in the next episode. The grand style is still being built. You are also being built. And turns out I already found you a bunch of trucks to go live there. Uh, we do not have any combines yet, but we're not in harvesting season. Not even close. Uh, you guys are only at 22%. Well, harvesting season's not till... 3rd of June, I want to say. I want to say. I want to say. Uh, but I do need to leave this episode here because I'm desperately running out of time. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you in, well, the very next episode. 
where we get to work more on chemicals. Chemicals, I think, is going to be a great uh, money saver and profit maker. But with all that said and done, I said, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you in, well, the very next video. All right, bye.